Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Two Train with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is Deflection of Beams, the second example. Let's get straight into it. So now what we have is two channels. Both exactly the same. So now what we have is a distance between them W and X and Y. Y, Y, X, X. And then the distance here. Okay, A Y, A Y, that's H, sorry, between there, between there and there is H. Okay, so now both beams. Now what we're doing is we're going to look at our table and look at where we can find this, these two beams. So the beam is, both beams are exactly the same, so it's 120 by 55 by 13,4 kg per meter. Right. So, what we're going to do now since we're dealing with channels, it's one, 120 by 55. So, T1 is equal to 7 Okay, now what we need to work out is I, X, X of the channels. So, we need to work out I, X of the channels. Now, I, X, we have I, X, we have I, X of the channels, but all we have to do is multiply this by 2, because we have 2 channels. I x x equals 
i x times two. So that equals three comma six four three times ten to the minus six times two. So now what we have is three comma six four two six four three times ten to the minus six times two. We have ix is equal to seven comma two eight six times ten to the minus six. Okay, that'll stay a constant. Now what we need to do now ixx and iyy are both exactly equal. So I, Y, Y, in this particular case, I, Y, Y is equal to I, Y plus A, whatever number, and H. Now, in this particular case, what we have to do is modify the formula to be multiplying this by 2. So, we need I, Y, Y. So, I, Y, 0, 4306 times 10 to the minus 6 plus A, which is 1, 699 times 10 to the minus 3, and h2, and h squared, sorry, h squared. We don't have that. We haven't got h squared. But, we, but in this case, ix, ixx, ixx is equal to I, Y, Y. And that is I, Y, Y, which is the formula I'm just using. So I, Y, Y, we have it as a formula. So I, X, X, so now we have 7, 2, 8, 6 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 0, 4, 306 times 10 to the minus 6 plus 1699 times 10 to the minus 3 h squared. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we have to find h. We have to find out how wide h is in order for us to get W. We need to find H in order to get W. So, now what we do is simple formula manipulation. Now what we do is we take 7, 286 times 10 to the minus 6 minus 0, 4306 times 10 to the minus 6 then that is divided by 1 comma 699 times 10 to the minus 3. But let's do it step by step. So we have 7 comma 286 times 10 to the 6 minus 0 comma 4306 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 1 comma 6 9, 9 times 10 to the minus 3 h squared. Okay. This will be able to fit in your calculator. This sum will be able to fit in your calculator. So just let's 
get it in line. And let's get H as the subject of the formula. Now what we do is we divide by 1,699 times 10 to the minus 3. And we do the same at the back end here. And all we're left with is H squared. So H squared. Now how do we get rid of a squared? We get rid of a squared by square rooting the sign. So the square root of this whole thing will get us just H. Okay. Simple formula manipulation. Now, we want H. So H is equal to, let's put this in our calculators, 7, 286 times 10 to the minus 6 minus 0, 4306 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 1, 699 times 10 to the minus 3. And then you take this answer, you take this answer to get H for both and combined. You need to multiply it by 2. So this is 2H. So whatever number you get for H, you multiply it by 2 times 2. And we get, for H, finally, that is 43,5 millimeters. So, 43,5 times 10 to the minus 3. All right. Now, but, we have a formula for H we haven't used yet. The formula for H goes H is equal to 0, 0,5 W plus A Y. So, which makes sense because between here and here is a y, and between there is a half of w, so h will equal a half of w plus a y, which makes perfect sense. Okay, now we're going to work that out. Let's use the formula. H equals 0, 0,5 W plus A Y. Now, what we have is 43,5 equals 0, 0,5 W plus 16. Because A Y is important here. A was important, so we had 16 here. So, what we're going to do is say 43.5 minus 16. 43,5 minus 16 equals 0,5 W. Right. Now this, what this does, is it'll let us equal 27,5 27,5 equals 0,5 W now 0,5 is a half 
So a half, when it jumps over, becomes two. So when it jumps over the fence, it becomes two. So you double 27.5 to get W. So how it works is 0, 0,5, 0, 0,5 equals a half. And when it goes over the equal sign, it floats. Especially if it's a multiplication. So a multiplication will flip it. So it'll become 0, 0,5 equals a half. So that will become bracket 2. Because of 2 over 1. It'll flip. 0, 0,5 times 2 is 1. So, 0, 0,5 jumps over, bracket 2. And 27,5 times 2 equals W, and W equals 55. That is our final answer. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please make use of the comments section to let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.